Harley demonstration. I'm an artist and I was giving, uh, giving away free posters of my artwork like this. Oh, you're giving them away free? Yes, I was. Oh, are they all gone? They're not well, like happy. I, but see, I love rich people because they give me the best jobs I've ever had. <laughs> You've had some good ones. I had one good one. <laughs> well, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, here's my car. You go to my car. Oh, that's pretty. Did you paint that? I, I painted it. It's a, it's a collage of a, a few paintings I've done. You don't really think that Obama's the Messiah, do you? That's neither pro or anti Obama. It's oh. you, you, yeah, you, you played the bimbo role. So. I did play the bimbo, yeah. and I did it really well. <laughs> You're really from Saturday Night Live? Yeah, she definitely is. I'm well, I'm not on it anymore. I was. I haven't been on it for 20 years. I just still look good. That's why you put the glasses on, though, to look smarter, right? No, to cover up hey, the bags under my eyes. You're so eyes. good. You want to have this paper shit? You're so good. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure this is actually the thing that's going on TV. Okay. You've been on TV since yeah. you were so good. But let's start I thought you were a real human, and I just... No, I really am a conservative. I know, I know, I know, but you're representing really a real a voice. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, I really well, is, am a Tea Party. What does the word Christian mean to you? To me, a Christian is a Christ follower. I read the Bible. I try to act like Jesus. I so, I know I'm going to heaven when I die because he died for my sins, not because I'm good or better than anyone. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man well, should boast. I mean, that, that's the gospel according to Paul, not according to Jesus. But that, that, there, there is a difference there, right? If we like go by the quotes of what Jesus said, he said, Jesus he said, said I am the way. Those. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the okay, Father. But what, is it? What, are, what are your views about all of this? I would probably align more with the Tea Party than anything else. Really? Over. I, I support. Um, I mean, I, I support people. People going against the establishment. So I support this. However, I think they have too many demands. I think the the demands of this whole movement are too broad. And I think there needs to be a unifying like rally call rather than saying like t tax the rich, uh, we want green energy, all these different things from all across the spectrum that generally liberals like. If you were to unify the Tea Party with this movement, it'd be a lot more powerful and uni unify everybody else by saying no more bailouts. If that was the only demand of this entire thing, say, yeah. let's have no bailouts. I, agree. I think because I think, Tea Party agrees with that, right. no more bailouts. Right, and I, I think if the only demand of this entire movement was to not have any bailouts, it'd be a lot more successful because it's it could probably be written into law, and you could actually have a like a concrete demand and yes. say it would, it could actually be done, and then once you get that, you can move on to whatever else you want. But I think when you start with 25 demands, yeah. you're going to get none. But if you start with one demand and say, we want this, and if it's concrete, and if you can rally people from all kinds of ideologies with it, it'd be a lot more successful. Good point. Well, Ron Paul didn't run in the general election. I voted for him in the uh, primary. No, it's a little liberty. Bob Barr. Bob Barr was liberty. Oh, I love Bob Barr. I know him. <laughs> yeah. You know him personally? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's the man. He, uh... I just, Yay, Bob Barr! Because I know when it comes down to it, I'm sitting in the ballot box. It's like, I, whoever I check when I go home, it's like 43,750,301 43, or 43,750,302. It doesn't really matter my one vote. I mean, I could... It can, I, I, well, like, it really doesn't. Like, since one vote has never decided an election, it doesn't matter. But, like... It does matter. Every vote matters. I, don't know. I mean, literally it doesn't, though, but, like... It does. Hey, who are you going to vote for in 2012? Um, probably whoever's, like, the most libertarian-leaning. Like Ron Paul? Yeah, if, if Ron Paul makes it, I don't know. Ron Paul's pulling ahead of Obama, but the Republican Party's never going to take him. Uh, I, cool, but since you're a supporter of the Bible... Yeah. And I'll just say, I love Jesus. I think he's a wonderful, beautiful... Uh, the man the man who walked as Jesus, I think, was a beautiful soul. And um, I aspire to live his what he said, you know. And to me, what he said was, um, speak the truth. And he love said, your neighbor as yourself. Self. And, he, and he also said, remember when he was interviewing, or when the rich man said, you know, what can I do? And he said, go sell all that you have and give it to the poor. Yes. 
So I guess he was telling them to spread so the he wealth. So you think he wanted them to starve to death? No, because if he, I think he understood that if, if people shared their wealth well, with I'll others. Well, explain that part. That well, part was, okay. this, this, rich, this rich guy came to Jesus and he said, how can I have eternal life? Uh -huh. And Jesus knew that the one thing, see, we, we have to be perfect to enter heaven. If we don't live up to the Ten Commandments, if we have ever told one lie or stolen one thing or lusted after someone one time, we're not good enough for heaven. When that young, rich young ruler came to Jesus, Jesus knew that the one sin, that his biggest sin was he loved the stuff. So Jesus was just saying, showing the guy that he wasn't perfect and he needed a savior. I ran into an MD and he's going to explain Obamacare and why I cannot afford health insurance and all that. Well, I will tell you what I know of the Obamacare and the problem with the policy and what's good about the policy. Okay. Right now, we can have students who cannot afford a policy on their own stay on with their parents and family policy until they're 26. That's something I immediately felt. Yes, that, I've been... That was, because that was what was created by this new health care plan. health care plan, yeah. So there is an immediate benefit for uh, actually tens of thousands into hundreds of thousands of people who have children up to 26 years. And as we know, many don't have jobs. They have a graduated, they've graduated from university or colleges and can't find work. The problem with the plan is that initially a public option would have answered the issue much more efficiently and less costly, but the obstructionists in Congress didn't allow the policy to go through. What does the public option mean? I don't know what Public it means. option is allowing people to choose a plan that does that excludes the middleman, so that the insurance companies who profit from these programs, these premiums that we all pay, will be eliminated. So we have money from the... So you mean public option means we all are forced to use government insurance, no, no. health There's no forcing. No, there's no forcing. Public option means rather than choosing an insurance company with a high premium, you can go for a public option which excludes the middleman, allowing government to work with the patient, which is Medicare, which has been working very well for a lot of people. One thing I want to ask you too is, do, do you do you watch Fox News? Yes. And do you believe that is they report the truth? Uh, more better than the other channels. Do you think they might have a biased agenda? They have a Muslim who owns part of it, so I don't I don't think they're all the way telling the truth. <laughs> um, is Rupert Murdoch <laughs> a is Rupert impressed? Murdoch a Muslim? No. Is Obama He's Muslim? actually to quote my friend a pornographer because he shows naked girls in some of his newspapers. So uh, would That's quoting you, my friend Joseph Farah. Do you support that kind of behavior that Rupert Murdoch does? No, uh, I agree with you the media is not telling us the truth. Okay. So if the media is not telling us the truth, do you base most of your beliefs about Obama and um, views other than, say, Fox News, do you think those have val valid points? or? And where I get my information is from reading books, and I read The Manchurian President, and it shows uh, Obama's Marxist background, his church of 20 years that preached black liberation theology, which is Marxism disguised as religion. I get my facts from the internet, from the words that come out of the person's mouth. When Obama said, spread the wealth, to Joe the Plumber, that's a direct quote from the Communist Manifesto. That's where I get my... Okay, Marx was a little, had a little more did, uh, facility with words than spread the wealth. So, where did it all go wrong? Because we can't afford Obamacare, and the health care is going to be worse, and the doctors aren't going to make any money, so I don't understand. Well, the right side of the aisle did not think that Obama's plan of universal one payer, or basically Medicare for all, was allowable. They thought that the money making and insurance should stay intact. And so there because we like the free market better than government forcing us. Which gives you high premiums. It's the problem why you can't afford health care right today. But Obamacare passed and I still can't I don't have any 
Let's try yeah, something. Because now been enacted until 2014. Yeah, 2014. Right now, you just have some benefits on the current plan. Yeah, I don't think it's an optimal so plan at all. Yeah, I think it's a, it is an expensive plan for individuals, but at least. There are some people right now who couldn't afford any insurance or on their family's plan. Well, what, you're really from Saturday Night Live? What's your name? I'm not from there. I'm from I mean, Miami, Florida. Well, you really acted on the show? I was on it from 86 to 92. What's your name? Well, can Victoria I, Jackson. Okay, right. yeah. can I ask you, yeah. do you know what the Beatitudes are? Could you repeat yeah. some of them? But he was talking... He wasn't, yes. He's like Except, Obama. He's blessed what he's are the poor. Or you blessed add an opinion. Let's just, okay, let's what just are they? what he said. Well, let me, you tell me the Beatitudes. Um, well, I, poor, see, I don't remember. Blessed are the meek, poor. Right? That's a, yeah. yeah, so that's Did good. he say, blessed are the rich and those that have many and those that have much? Oh, you know what? I thought of, you'd love this. I thought of the new American Jesus because the old one was too much of a socialist. And so the new American Jesus would say something like, Blessed are those who accumulate great wells at the, at the sake of others. Blessed are those who launch preemptive war on nations and kill hundreds of thousands because a few were killed in their country. Blessed are those who use torture to justify their means. Blessed are those who will do anything to make a profit. Blessed are those who hold mass amounts of wealth and then give themselves bonuses of the American taxpayer's money because they needed a bailout. But when you ask for help to stay in your home, you're um, not going to get it. Is oh. that, that's the new... Okay, those are the... Wait, those are the Beatitudes of the Socialist. Okay, now tell me the Beatitudes from the Bible. What did Jesus say? I'll tell he you, said, "Blessed are the rich and those that have great no, fortunes." No, blessed. Oh, he said, "Blessed are the he poor." He said, right? Right. "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God." He said, "Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God." He said, "Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake." That's what Jesus said. It's very different from your beatitudes. So did so I'm just understanding where he said are blessed are those that amount great wealth and don't share it. Okay, so Okay, and why did he ask the rich man to sell and give away? He said, he didn't ask him to sell stuff. He, he didn't go say go trade your fortunes on the market and make more money. He said give wait, your wait. money away. Jesus said the love of money is the root of all evil. He did not say money is the root of all. He said the love of money is the root of all. Evil. There was actually there was actually a great Saturday Night Live skit back when you were on it probably about um, about the, the the passage where Jesus says it would be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle right. than for, for a rich, rich man to get to heaven. So they spend billions of dollars trying to get camels to the to the size of, of to be able to walk through a needle. Well, see, that's, the whole, that's the, the whole of the point skit. of that verse is saying that it's hard for rich people to think they need a savior.